Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just around 10.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. It is Friday. Happy Aloha Friday, as we say on the islands, June the 7th, 2019. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver, our weekend review. And what a week we have seen with consistently gaining ground on each and every day this week. In fact, since Thursday, May 30th, we have seen this market take off from just under $1,300 an ounce to now move to $1,345. That based on a $2 plus gain on the day. But what is most impressive is the high today. That came in at $1,352.70. Without a question of a doubt, the highest trading price for gold futures this year. A combination of actions have led to a high probability or belief that the Federal Reserve will implement a series of rate cuts. Of course, beginning on Wednesday, we had the ADP jobs report forecast at 175 and actually coming in at 27,000 new jobs added, a dismal report compared to the forecast. Similar action today, the Labor Department's non-payroll jobs report came out for the month of May, forecast around 177,000 new jobs being added and the actual number coming in at 75,000. Traders, although gold is trading off of its intraday high today, it is currently trading up about $1.70, $1.80, currently bid at $13.44.50. Of course, we are long this market and we'll discuss that when we pull up our technical studies. Silver did gain ground and actually close right above $15 per ounce at $15 and a half cents. Platinum eked out some gains of $2.30 at $806 per ounce. And palladium gained $4.60 today, closing at $13.53.70. Lastly, the entire rise today was due to dollar weakness down almost a full half a percent at 96.53.5. Let's take a look at our technical studies. Although it was a nominal gain today, we did see gold close higher on the day, currently at 13.44.90, up $2.20 for the day. Interestingly enough, we have had consecutive gains with higher highs and higher lows all week with the exception of yesterday in which we did get a higher low, however, failed to get a higher high, although that is not all that compelling when we take a look at the previous high that came in the day before, taking gold prices to just about 1349. That was this day right here on Wednesday. We have moved our stop up a total of three times today, and our stop is currently sitting at 13.21.13. We did go long this market, of course, on Thursday, and we got in at roughly 12.93, so right in here in the August contract. I believe that we could see this market sell back at any moment, however, Pricing dictates that we remain long and we continue to trail our stop as long as this move continues. We have breached the ceiling in terms of record highs for 2019 today when the market traded above that price point to 13 52.70. We're looking at a daily candlestick chart, but I do also want to take a look at this chart in Henkin Ashi or Japanese average format. Let's go ahead and change that right now. And traders, the reason for moving to the Japanese average or Henkin Ashi is the fact that it is one of the best charts to give us an indication of trend strength and potential reversals in the market. What we look for in this type of chart is two things. The first thing is body size, and we can certainly say that we have seen favorable or large body size, although it's been contracting over the last couple of days, we can definitely see that it is sufficiently big enough to be called a large Japanese average candle. The second thing that we look at is the absence of lower wicks because that tells us something completely different. 
a Henkin Ashi chart is created, or the open, I should say, is created by virtue of the midpoint on the prior day. And so what we want to see in this type of chart is an absence of lower wicks on the way up and the opposite on the way down. We want to see an absence of upper wicks. Now, in the case of this market this week, we have had a complete absence of lower wicks all week and we have had decent body size. The fact that it is diminishing tells us that the trend itself is not as strong as it was at the beginning of the week. And that's obvious when we look at price changes because we were getting 10, 12, $8 price changes at the beginning. And today, for example, we only saw gold trade up by about $2.20. Nonetheless, we are long at $12.93. We have moved our stops up. We'll look to move them up even tighter at the beginning of next week. Traders, maintain your current long position at $12.93. Maintain your current stop. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.